Yo, what was that Bruno thing about? Like, <laughs> Bournemouth 2, United 2. I see Bruno throwing his arms or something, hoof the ball, and this guy's a weird guy, you know? Like, what are you doing? Bare performative. That was a dead performance. And weird shit, bro. I can't even lie. We never even looked like scoring. Bruno bagged the brace, one penalty, and one goal where the ball just fell to him in the box. Other than that, anonymous as usual, bro. This United attack stinks, broski. That Rasmus Hoyland, I think I've cooked this guy for the last half an hour. He's an absolute tramp. I can't believe it, bro. This guy's big for no reason, like Ten Hag's forehead, bro. Like, we spent £72 million, yeah? Bruv, like, bro, this guy, was he's a fucking Uber driver. This bro can't stay on his feet, bro, to save his life. Man were trying to argue with me, our oh, rants give him time, he's only young, bro. It don't take long to understand who players are and who players are not. He's awful, bro. Like, when a man gonna get it into their mind? Man been doing, man been doing the research already. Do you know what I'm saying? Man are saying that the move to Atalanta was all Bandulu and that. Mum knew the chairman and that. Was doing up Adi Bayor. Knee slides and that. Crazy. It's not making no sense. This brain ain't been a gunman his whole... He ain't been a gunman his whole career. The brain scored goals at any level. One of the only strikers in world football to not have a goal celebration. You should know man's a phony, bro. You know man's a phony. From when Nketi has got goal celebrations and this brain got goal celebrations, you know he's a fraud. You know it. What strike, what about, what good striker do you know in the history of football that ain't got no celebration you can remember? That you can attribute to them, bro. It's crazy, he's a bum. Asmus Hoyland, bro. Complete ass, bro. Do you know what I mean? And that mutant as well, Lord of the Mutant incels with his zesty boots, blood. Man like Garnacho, bruv. Let's talk about him now, bro. Hang it in the Louvre, bruv. Mama talking about, oh, yeah, he's going to win a Ballon d'Or, bro. Absolute stinker, bro. That Brer ain't doing nothing at this football club and he ain't doing nothing for the Argentine national team, bro. So all of you stands, yeah, bro, you better frame this while you can, innit? Because the guy stinks. The guy's got the touch of a flipping serial killer, bro. Flipping Jeffrey Dahmer, Harold Shipman, bro. That goal that we conceded, yeah, the um the one where, I think it was the Clivert goal, bro. Garnacho can't control his piss, bro. That bro can't control his piss, bro. This bro sleeps in nappies. He definitely wets the bed, bro. There's no two ways about it. This guy can't play football. Like, what are we doing? A man is saying give these man time. Time to do what? Time to embarrass us. I can't believe it, bro. Man got one giant huggies for him and then another one for the youth. You know, like that. Like, mommy, dad's pissed the bed. He's an absolute scrub. I can't believe it. Man wanted to argue with me about him, you know. Our oh, rants, but he's only a kid, bro. Allow it. Dude's got more kids than me, bro. We can't do this no more. Do you know what I mean? Just because man can't grow a beard, that don't mean I have to feel sorry for them, bro. You got more youths than me, bro. Man can't use this our oh, rants, he's only a kid thing. This is crazy to me. Can't use that. He's a bum. These men are making millions a year, you know, to be doing shit like that. Man's watching the YouTube game and I'm seeing Philly and Harry and them man control a ball better than Garnacho. How is that a thing? How have man got YouTubers, yeah, that are better at football than man that are playing for Manchester United, bro? This is crazy. But man, they want to give him the benefit of the doubt, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Because man's got an inclusive haircut, bruv. Nah, it's crazy. Man don't want to hear none of that, bro. Man don't want to hear none of them things, bro. This guy's an absolute fraud, bruv. And he's about five stone playing men's football, bro. That's crazy. A man's built like a 13-year-old girl, bro. We need to get over this. He's not going to make it. He's never going to be good enough. We need to stop this. Stop forcing it. You know, like that. No diddy blood. Man are forcing it. This is crazy. Another no-show for Marcus Rashford as well, bro. I can't even lie, bro. This guy's got no heart. 
This guy's got no heart, bro. The thing is, yeah, it's one thing him playing shit every week, but he ain't got no fight, bro. Man's just strolling around, bro, and producing nothing. And this is what I mean, yeah, about these disingenuous Man United fans. Because you'll turn around and you will watch, yeah, Marcus Rashford play a 0 out of 10 every single week. A Garnacho play 0 out of 10 every week. You'll see this Asmus, yeah, 0 out of 10 every week. And I told you, man, that Veghorst was better than him, but you, man, wanted to argue with me. Even when Veghorst wasn't scoring goals, this guy was facilitating for Rashford. Rashford had his best season for Man United last season because of Valt Veghorst, bro. You lot didn't want to hear that. Because why? Because the name weren't sexy enough for you. But now look, what, what is Rasmus adding to the team, bro? That's crazy, bro. He's a welcome mat, bro. Man's just on the floor. He's a bum. Mando, man, bro, what is he good? What is he good for? What is he good for, bro? Like, man, just need to use him, yeah, to test out fucking skin cream or something, you know, like that. That's the only thing he's good for, bro. You know what I mean? Man, man, are using him for skin routines and that. Man, are testing bootleg creams and that. This is crazy. He's a scrub. He's a fucking scrub. Bro, the bread's not even better. The bread is not better than a Garlo, bruv. When Oli brought in a Garlo, man, a Garlo never got minutes. A Garlo shits on Rasmus Hoyland, bro. He's a bum. Literally. Them man need to use him to fucking. But that's it, bro. They just need to use man to test out face washes and that. Clear a seal dummy. Absolute bum. Do you know what I'm saying? Bruno got a couple goals. So you know what it is. You know what I mean? The mutant stands will be happy, bro. Do you know what I mean? Fucking Pingu happy feet, bro. Got a couple goals now. Never done nothing for the rest of the game, but it's all right. Do you know what I mean? Because it makes his GA look a bit more healthy because he's been a scrub all season, bro. Whole thing's a joke. The whole thing. We didn't look like scoring today. And then he brought on Ahmad, yeah, to try to save his life. And I'm glad he didn't. I'll be real. Ahmad looked tidy when he came on, but... Do you know what I mean? He never done nothing crazy, bro. And I'd have been pissed if Ahmad just came out, bro. Slapped two in the top corner and, and got this manager out of jail. Because he don't deserve it. This guy's head needs to be on a chopping block, bro. This guy needs to get Ned Stark tomorrow. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? He can't change this, so he needs to go. These players don't believe in him. I feel sorry for Kamwala, yeah, because this guy has been playing next to flipping Harry Maguire, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Man's next to flipping Quagmire at centre-back, bro. He was always going to struggle. And in the end, yeah, he got exposed a few times. But, but that's because we have no cohesive de defensive structure as a team. He's having to rely on his own defensive instincts, yeah, to read the game. And he's not experienced. So he's going to get he's gonna get exposed. He's going to get exposed. So I don't blame him for anything that's happened today. We were getting opened up at will, bro. Opened up at will and we got away with one today because they should have probably put eight or nine goals past us today. This feels like the same match review that I did against Brentford and the same match review. My, it was the same score actually, Brentford, wasn't it? 2-2 two, two, or was it 1-1? One, one? I don't remember. But yeah, we drew, we drew that as well. So it's like the same old story, bro. Same old story. Nick in a living, bro. This is what we've been doing, blood. 419, bro. That's what we've been on, bruv. Fraudulent behavior. All these men need to go jail, fam. I'll be real. And this manager's gonna come out and he's gonna gaslight all of us now and tell us that it wasn't that bad and we don't know what we're seeing and that we were unlucky and we deserve to win and we just needed to be a bit more clinical. We got mash up by Solanke and the man then, bro. Solanke, bro. And I went into this game for some stupid reason, yeah. I actually thought that we were going to win the game, bro. I don't know why. Because man them were reminding me that we got smoked by them before. But for some reason, I thought, nah, there's no way that we cannot win. Especially after Spurs lost. And now we're seventh. Man are behind Newcastle, bro. How are we behind Newcastle? When are Chelsea playing? I swear if Chelsea win, they're two points behind us or three points behind us. And we were laughing at Chelsea. 
We were laughing at Chelsea, bro. We were looking at Newcastle, saying these man, yeah, were mid-table, and now they're breathing down man's neck, bruv, like, li like Diddy at a pool party, blood. They're right there, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? Man breathing down man's neck like Diddy, saying, yo, we need to go shopping, bruv. Chelsea. This is what this is what we're doing. Look at this scrub Garnacho give the ball away for, for the first goal. Scrub. Can't believe it, bro. <laughs> what a bum. Man can't control a football, you know. Them man, them man told us here yeah, that Florentino Perez was coming in for Garnacho, bruv, and you man believed that. Fuck you know, bro. You man need to get a life. I remember when man was inboxing me saying, oh, Perez wants to speak to Garnacho when he comes over in the international break. Perez don't know who this motherfucker is. Allow it. Do you know what I'm saying? What are we talking about? Fucking Perez Hilton, maybe. You know them ones. Man looking like one of them tarts from Channel E, blood. Man's looking like one of them gay Kardashian friends or something like that. Maybe it's Perez Hilton, blood. Man said, nah, bro. I can't believe you, man, brought that bullshit story to me. I can't believe it. They need to sack this brother expeditiously. Bro, this is crazy. Man United are some joke club, innit? That's all man know. We're a joke club, bro. Like, throw the whole thing in the bin, fam. In the bin!